what if Vladimir Putin put nuclear bombs on the moon? Welcome back, folks, to another episode of Jamin's Daily. Today, I want to propose a scary Bond villain move that could that could happen. And, and you know, I to all the villains out there, I hope I'm not giving you any ideas. Surely you may have already thought about this, but it just came to mind when I've read on the interwebs about the militarization of space. Russia has put out some new satellite, this and that. And so then I started thinking, well, it's possible to go to the moon, they say. And there's nuclear weapons. What if somebody put a nuclear weapon on the moon? So in my scenario, folks at home, Vladimir Putin, Let's say, one, we know he has access to nuclear bombs. And then two, the Russians have a capable space program. Pretty sure if they really, really wanted to, they could probably put a nuclear bomb on the moon. Okay? So what if Putin placed a nuclear payload on the moon as the ultimate insurance policy you have to imagine you have to imagine folks at home a scenario in which maybe here going on the the, the current war nato intervenes maybe the the the, uh, the tide of the war has changed because nato has uh, directly um, intervened in the war putin is losing nato forces are closing in on moscow and what does putin decide to do Ultimate insurance policy says, you know what? Rocket. We're going to the moon. We're going to put a nuclear bomb on it. And if we keep it up, we're going to blow up the moon. And then we all tragically, uh, the end of the world as we know it. All right. But then, even cooler, we can change the scenario up to another person perhaps within the realm again there has to be plausibility okay elon musk so in this scenario musk is under some type of warrant they're after him right i mean everyone's coming after this guy and you can see at some point his enemies have found a way to prosecute persecute prosecute him he he's under warrant interpol he's a, he's on the lam. I mean, he's a fugitive. What does he decide to do to give himself the insurance policy that he needs? SpaceX. Boom! He has the capability to get to the moon. But he doesn't have a nuclear bomb, you say. He's got $100 billion, right? He's going to buy one. He'll find it. Or he can maybe even pay some rogue um, scientists and engineers to build one. His money talks, right? So... Let's say, let's speculate that he has the capability to do both. Boom, he goes to the moon. Now what? If you arrest me, I'm going to blow up the moon. Whoever said that? I watch a lot of cop um, videos on YouTube where people get arrested. And nobody, they make a lot of threats. But nobody has ever said, if you arrest me, I will blow up the moon. All right? Lastly. Rocket Man, Kim Jong Un, I think his name is. I don't know. Maybe if I'm getting it wrong, Kim Jong Il, one of those North Korean dictators. All right, you know what I'm talking about. Better known, fondly known, and named by Trump, Rocket Man. All right, Rocket Man has nuclear weapons, and he has rocket technology a fledgling space program of sorts, right? I mean, if you have a rocket, really, how do you get to the moon? You got to have rockets, all right? You just got to get into space and then you figure it out from there, right? But let's say he's able to pull that off. Well, then at that point, he doesn't, I mean, I don't even need to create a scenario in which uh, rocket man would be motivated to put nuclear bombs on the moon. It can just, if he's able to do it, I think he will. So, folks. 
You heard it first here on James Bailey. The moon, we need to fortify the moon. We need to put like Patriot missiles on the moon to guard them from enemies trying to put nuclear bombs on them. All right. I, I think I, I'm ahead of the game. I'm forecast. I see this. This is the future folks. I hope, I wish it wasn't, but mark my words until the next time. Stay tuned. Smash the like button. Subscribe to Jamin's daily. Find me on Facebook. Let's be friends. And until the next time again, stay tuned because the best is yet to come.